What is happening, guys? Welcome to J Powell Music. Be sure to like and subscribe on the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when these episodes are available. I definitely appreciate that. Today, we're talking about albums I've been listening to. Just three albums so far that I've really been digging into. And the last one uh, I just finished listening to. So, we're going to talk about that one. And we're talking about Go Go Penguin, everybody. Good old Go Go Penguin. And, um,. Their album is Everything is Going to Be Okay. I sure hope so. No. Um, so for Go Go Penguin, if you're not privy to their music, they make instrumental music. It's a three-piece band, piano player, upright bassman, and drummer. And they do a great job creating a really big sound uh, with some really dope melodies, build-ups, breakdowns, the whole nine yards, people. And Everything is Going to Be Okay is very much an uplifting type of project, it seems like this very much um a sense of hope if you will so it's a good project it's not my favorite project out of the albums that i've listened to for gogo -Go penguin the my favorite tracks on this where we may not stay everything's going to be okay the the the, the album title as well uh and parasite those are my three favorite songs i just think they're they have a complexity and they go somewhere and you really just kind of get emotionally invested from my uh sense of uh listening to them but nevertheless a really solid it's a solid album it's not a terrible album it's a very much a solid album definitely check this one out everything's going to be okay and check out their catalog as well if you like that album the next one is black thought Huge fan of Black Thought. Uh, obviously, I discovered him when he was rapping with the famous uh, The Roots group that's been a band that's been uh, together for over 17 years, delivering amazing punchlines, great bars, one of the best lyricists living today. And he collabed with L. Michael's Affair with the album Glorious Game. Uh, just as a brief, brief side note, this was definitely a breath of fresh air just because the last album he did was with Danger Mouse and, uh, it's called Cheat Codes. And I was terribly disappointed because the vocal mixing was so bad on the album. I could barely hear what he's saying as far as for like, even like a whole bar I can't, could barely hear the, the samples are turned up way too high. Vocal mixing was just a, just a, a freaking nightmare. In my opinion, some people really liked it. I don't know if those people actually understood what he was saying either. Um, but in my opinion, vocal mixing, terrible. Luckily, that's not the case for this album, for Glorious Game and Michael's Affair of the Band. They mesh really well from a collaboration standpoint. You can definitely feel like it's like some type of like, uh, it's like if, uh, the, if uh, like some Kareem bin type vibes with some, with some, uh, some dope rapping over it. Um, but really well done. It's a really good album. My favorite tracks on here, Alter Ego is definitely one of them. Alone is good. I Would Never is a good one as well. Uh, and Protocol. Those are probably my favorite ones that really perked up my ears. Uh, and it definitely was one of those things where five tracks in, it really started to kick up for me anyway. Glorious Game is a good pr song. And the ones before, they're pretty good. But I think these are, these are the ones that really stood out to me. One of these songs, actually, he kind of has a MF Doom type of flow i want to say it's either alone or miracle um but nevertheless a really solid album highly recommend it so the last album i've been listening to is covet's album catharsis catharsis if you if that's how you pronounce it um this is just a really solid like rock progressive alternative album um yeah, I think this is a really dope band. I mean, incredibly talented folks um, to no end. Uh, but they just do a really good job with these songs. Um, really just having lush uh, melodies. You know, the song takes these songs take you places. It kind of reminds me of Now Now a little bit as far as some of the vibes for it. Um, my favorite tracks on the album are these three here, Interlude, Smolder, and Merlin. Uh, they just really hit home. I really was a big fan of them. Firebird's very good, too, so I'll probably throw in a little heart there. Um, but those are, I think those are some of the best songs on the album. But definitely a great listen, and it's not it's not too long. It's not too short. I mean, it's 28 minutes, but it's great music. It's great music, so I definitely would recommend that. Those are the three albums I like. If you have albums and songs that you've listened to this year that have come out this year, 
uh, be sure to put it into the comments as far as just any recommendations on what should be listed, what I should listen to. Definitely would love that. But without further ado, uh, be sure to like and subscribe again. If you could, it would be great. appreciate it if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks a lot.